know, we, we say that people should come up with something for uh, the safety of women. And uh, Femina indeed has come up with this app. So I think the first thing that each woman needs to do is download this app and, you know, help keep our country safe. Thank you, Gay. Thank you. Hey, um, Tanya, Femina has been this lifestyle and go-to guide. For me, right from when I've been 14 or 15 years old, when my mom used to subscribe to, uh, to Femina, and now I do. And so it's very apt that um, a magazine like this, that that is not just a glamour magazine, it just covers everything, covers so many age groups. It has taken the onus of uh, coming to our rescue with the Femina Through Your Rescue app. Um, there are lots of apps that have come uh, out for women's safety, but I think the, the special feature that your app has is the fact that you're armed with information. Um, a lot of apps don't have that kind of information. The articles that you cover in your magazine uh, will be uh, available to you in terms of defense moves, in terms of uh, rape laws, in terms of legality, step by step, exactly. How to how to actually register an FIR. So these, these are, you know, armed with information, you are so much more powerful. So that is one thing that I think is very special with your app and the fact that there's that, that siren. Also, the ease with which you can alert your contacts because, you know, if you have to get into, you unlock your phone and get into the app, by the time you've gotten into, uh, into the app, you've wasted a lot of time. So if you just, even if you have your phone in your hand and you press the, the power button three times yeah, without anybody around you even knowing it, I think uh, that's, that's of prime importance, being able to reach your emergency contacts without actually um, yeah, wasting a lot of time. Yeah, you're already jittery. If you could, you, the fact is you can press that button three times and, and get to your contacts and get to the police. So I think uh, your app has some very special features. And uh, I thank you and, of course, the Mumbai police for, uh, for coming up with this initiative and, uh, and, and making us feel all the more safe. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Margaret. Thank you so much. Ms. Asmita Tegavka, a few words from your end, please. Good morning to all Indian ladies. I went in that sense. I am always to uh, our main my motto is road safety. And when uh, passengers are traveling in the public uh, uh, transport, uh, transport, then uh, women, 30 percent women uh, transport uh, uh, use tra public transport in the Mumbai city. It is very important to uh, introduce such apps uh, in, in the transport, the public transport, so we can also take uh, some steps to. In that sense, uh, we are introducing the program for encouraging more and more women who are coming in this uh, transport, uh, bus, uh, this uh, uh, bus, bus drivers, uh, taxi drivers, and other rickshaw drivers in this profession also. So, uh, women uh, phone click taxi scheme has been introduced by our department, which is inserting rule uh, 66A in this uh, motor vehicle uh, rules, and only women operated free adoption in taxi. Service fleet taxis of 35 vehicles has been given stands for prepaid taxi in the international and domestic airport also. Vira cabs in taxi service, which is operated only by women drivers, taxi uh, taxi and uh, is engaged in the uh, duties in the domestic airport also. As per the Mumbai uh, Metropolitan uh, uh, Transport Road Transport Authority, that is in the Mahia, also introduced uh, the new decision that is for uh, in July of the direction that the women auto rickshaw drivers shall address women passengers and their family members on priority. To allow only male passengers to board to uh, auto rickshaw driven by women drivers in the decision of the women auto rickshaw drivers. In this, uh, women who are interested to uh, participate in this program can drive an auto rickshaw whose permit holder is a male with a note on the vehicle stating that priority for women passengers also. And we can test measures on encouraging women drivers also, providing new vehicles for the scheme uh, on sponsorship of 95 taxis and 230 auto rickshaws, women drive this scheme also, providing medi-claim policy as well as insurance policy for women drivers, providing special education scheme for children of women drivers and for women drivers. We took one step ahead and seven months back we started uh, adding extra layer of education vehicle that in the case in any situation uh, where if a driver throws the mobile or if it is not traceable, his vehicle will always be traceable and you know 
anybody can reach uh, in the uh, specific transport domain. Mm -hmm. we, and we are really happy that you know the Femina, the Femina app, so that the, 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 the safety that is available, the, uh, the concept of uh, you know. Uh, besides saying that it's a pleasure being here, it is also an eye opener that you, the media, the press, is taking such a responsible position about not just the app, but letting people know about how to save themselves. This app is brilliant. Brilliant why, at the touch of a button, I feel safe, I feel protected. And most of all, as a doctor, I have seen traumatized women and children in my practice, I have treated them. But come what may, they would not make a formal complaint anywhere against their perpetrator, against their abuser. This has become my pet peeve. And uh, with this app, we are assured anonymity, which is the best part about this app. Only people concerned will know about my trouble. I don't have to go to the police station to file an FIR. They come to me. I can, I can in some small way, save face that I'm the one who has been victimized for no fault of mine. Even today, women take it as their fault, although they are not at fault, they are just the victims. And I'm happy that we have this app and uh, sure, it's brilliant. Thank you. Thank you, so thank you all. I'd like to thank all my panel members for dis demonstrating this commitment. Some of few safety precautionary guidelines. Do not talk to strangers. Do not take a ride with strangers. Do not accept gifts from strangers, even if they are daddy's friends. Should teach them difference between good touch and bad touch. I've been to Priyanka's school and I was kind of a counselor in their school, my son's school, and I was given this responsibility. I used to have this talk with the children and the parents that you only can indoctrinate your children. You can't tell a guy once he's already developed this nonsense to change or a girl to change. It's very difficult to so start young before their brains have been damaged by the bad internet content, by the bad abusive things. And most importantly, what I was saying is, the women should be given the power, the strength to believe that they will not be uprooted out of their own homes because they are victims. I will not put a woman into a remand house. I will not put my child into a foster home. I will get the perpetrator, the abuser out of the house. He is the one who needs treatment. He is the need one who needs help. I would take the man off from his comfortable zone, be it an employer, be it a husband, be it a brother, be it a father-in-law, mother-in-law, whoever. They should be removed from their dignified, comfortable position and sent at least get psychiatric evaluation and help. They are mentally ill. You put them with criminals, like criminals, they come out hardened, worse, and they become rapists and murderers. We should stop before it becomes goes to this point. It is never too late to start. We should start today, now, from our, with our children. Maybe 10 years, 15 years down the line, we would be able to make a difference. And I think every citizen is your moral responsibility, not just to look after your own house, but to look after everyone in your neighborhood. Suppose you see your neighbor, the woman in the neighboring house being victimized, she will never come forward and make a complaint against her husband because she's not sure how it will be taken with the stigma, Will she be thrown out of the house? All those things. So the police, I would request, should take cognizance of a non-family member's complaint and keep that family under observation at least. So suppose there's a repeat offense, then you should pick that person out. Not let innocent people be damaged, and then it is too late. So this is what has been my job. Thank you. That was really helpful. Thank you so much, and thank you ladies. Any more questions? Or a nice photo, please.